All right, everybody, welcome to the wood shop. We're going to start on a um, pocket knife display case. It could be for anything. I uh, have a family friend who uh, apparently has a pretty large pocket knife collection. He had been trying to find one and um, said he was, they were really expensive and they're hard to find. You know, most of them got thrown away or, you know, sold off or something. So they're kind of hard to find. Um, but if you find one, they're pretty expensive. So I said to myself, we'll make him one. We won't tell him we're making him one, um, but we'll make him one. And so this is what this video is about. So we're going to be using some red oak. Try to use as much red oak as we can. I'll be using some uh, red oak plywood for the bottom and the back. Um, and then solid red wood or um, red oak for the sides and the top and all that stuff. But anyway, we'll get into all that. Um, then we'll finish it off with some tongue oil and uh, make it look nice. So here we go. Okay, so as we get started here, let's look at our lumber. And so I have a red oak board. This is um, three quarter inch thick. And they call it 12, but it's never 12. It's 11 and something um, board. And this will be for our sides. And then we have just various other little pieces. This is some half inch um, stock that we'll use for the shelves. Uh, we may wind up having to make us a wider one, but that's why I bought this one. Uh, so this will be the front. This will be the shelves. This will be the sides. And then I chose um, half inch, well, plywood half inch. Um, red oak plywood for the bottom and the back part, the um, the part that flips down for the display. Um, I chose plywood because it's a little more stable. It won't. It's a lot less tendency to warp since it will not be attached only by hinge. So plywood is a much better choice. Um, it will make it look nice. And um, then we've got, of course, we've got our hinge, our piano hinge, uh, so we can let the display down. And then we have the um, barrel clasp for the back um, to let it down and to hold it up. Okay, so that's that. Uh, to get started here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, cutting our angle or cutting our uh, wood to length, the length that we want or the height that we want. Uh, work on cutting our angle and then we're going to work on uh, we've got to have three dados, one or grooves, one for one shelf, one for another one, and a larger one to accept our plywood for the bottom uh, of our base. Uh, so we're going to get started on that first. Alright, so I've got my two sides cut, um, and I just wanted to take a second to say this. Take your time. Okay. I don't, I'm not working with some super precise tools here, you know, very super expensive tools, but that's okay. Because if we take our time, we can make it right. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our dado for our bottom, which will also be our bottom shelf. So it'll be the bottom and the bottom shelf. We'll have a shelf here and a shelf here and then we also have to make our cut here okay so that's next all right so um, what I've done here next is um, is I've cut my dado or my groove for my bottom part I think I might wind up um, trimming this off I don't know and then I have cut my groove or my dado for my glass okay and I cut my the small groove with the router with this quarter inch straight cut bit and then I cut this groove with uh, my table saw okay so now I have two matching sides which is a good thing and so those will be my, my two sides there so what I'm gonna do on the shelves I was gonna cut a dado and put the shelves but I got to thinking what if he doesn't like by making this display, this is a uh, the display. I, what if he doesn't like where I put the shelves? 
So at least give him an opportunity to be able to move those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these. So you drill a hole and then you can move them wherever you like them. So if you want here, you put one here, boom, boop. And then you could, you know, drill more holes and put it all the way up. So I think I'm going to do that instead um, on the shelves. So I've got a piece of gluing up down here. Um, I needed a wider shelf, and they didn't have any half inch any wider than this. And so um, I'm gluing me one up. So this will dry overnight. I'll probably be dry after eight or so hours, but um, just go ahead and let it dry overnight. So the next thing I'm going to do is start cutting this plywood down um, because this will be the bottom and also be the back, but the back will come later, but the bottom, uh, so we can start some assembly, we'll have to cut us a piece to go across here. This will be kind of the the, um, the underside top, if you will. I, you know, guys, I don't have a plan here. I very rarely have a plan. I just have something in my head. Maybe I saw a picture or something that I've modified in my head. I don't write anything down. Um, this is, I, I'm probably a lot like you guys I'm just I'm just winging it here um, so it's hard for me to tell you what I'm going to do next exactly because I don't always know so let's do so, some uh, unknown I got um, got my plywood cut here um, and the reason I chose plywood for the bottom is is this wood will move over time as humidity changes and things change and um, you know you'll find most furniture people use plywood over solid wood just because it expands and contracts um, and handles changes better so that's why I use it on the back and then I'll use it on the on the uh, for the back part here this is flipped over right now um, and you can see here my dado I've got here and I also put in this this is a glue block um, basically this is just a strip of this is a strip of poplar it'll never be seen unless you flip it over and it'll just provide some extra strength you've got extra glue and service here on this side um, You'll, again, you'll see a lot of furniture people use the same technique um, on there. It just provides strength. And um, so we'll let this dry. We've got it glued here. We put a couple, just a couple brads here on the side. This was for the glue block. A um, couple brads. We'll fill those in. You'll never see them. Same thing on this side. So the glue is really going to hold it. The, the, the brads are just there to hold it together temporarily. So um, we've got our part of our shelves going here so this will glue up that's a bottom shelf or the middle shelf that shelf and then we're probably going to have to go back to the store story of my life go back to the hardware store and get another piece of wood we'll just have to see about that um, and then so work on that and then the next thing after that is next week we'll have to get together with our glass guy and uh, work on getting us a piece of glass do some sanding get all this situated and we'll be uh, We'll get this sucker ready to go, so uh, be right back. All right, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, today's Wednesday. I uh, started this project on Saturday. And so, <coughs> excuse me, I got the cough. Um, been working on this, so let me just catch you up a little bit on what I've been doing. Um, I got me a piece of... Um, well, I call it plexiglass, but it's not that. It's this is an, it says right here acrylic optics, acrylic sheet. Um, it's some sort of Lexan. I don't know that's a brand name, but you know what I mean. It's something like that. Uh, this is the um, thick. I don't know, 22 millimeter uh, thick, almost a quarter inch um, thick. There, okay. Um, so let me spin you around. So I did that, and, and it's got the film on both sides. I haven't peeled it off yet. Um, I went ahead and did a test piece and I put uh, tongue oil on the top, which I'm really happy about that and I need to wipe it down again um, with that. And then I'm going to show you the back here. Oh, whoops, safety third. Um, so I got the back here. I've uh, just got this temporarily on, but anyway, um, got me a little barrel latch there um, with the, And then I got a piano hinge down at the bottom here. Um, added this filler strip just to put a little more protections to keep the bottom from flexing. So, and then there you go. There's your little shelves. You can put your stuff on there. I thought about putting glass. Ooh. I thought about putting glass. Um, and I'll tell him when I give it to him if he wants glass, we can do that. But um, I just left with the wood for right now. So he may want, he may change his mind. He may, I mean, he may want that after I tell him that. Um, so anyway, I got to get sand in here. 
Um, I uh, got to keep, I uh, sanded it all down with um, 120. And I really like this sandpaper. If you hadn't checked this out, um, this is Sandblast Pro. Um, it says only at Lowe's. I'm sure somebody else sells something similar. Uh, but it's really flexible. And um, I put it on my soft block and um, does a really nice job. Really gets around the corners and stuff. Really nice. Um, anyway, so everything's down to 120 now, so we'll go down to 220 um, and make it really nice and, you know, it's pretty smooth now, but we'll make it better. We've got a few little scratches we got to get out, uh, but it's pretty smooth now. And um, so anyway, let me do that. We'll get everything kind of buttoned up here, and I'll bring you back. All right, so we've got to do the slow reveal here, you know, where they come up on the thing. Look at that. Woo! There it is. In all its glory. Well, probably not glory, but anyway. And I even put some of Dad's old knives in there, and those are not going with the case. They're staying with me, but I just wanted to show kind of what it would look like, maybe. But if you, I'm sure he's going to like load it up, and you won't be able to see the wood in it. But there it is. I put some uh, wood screw brass. I got some nice brass wood screw so you could remove the top in case something ever happened. You could take it off. And I think it makes it look a little, a little dressy, a little dressy. Yeah, a little bit of something. You know, the funny thing about this case, I kept having to fight myself because I wanted to, like, do some stuff. Like, I was going to put a, you know, route out a, on the side here and put, like, a thing. And I was going to route the it. And I had to stop myself. I was like, it's it's a display case. It's The case is not on display. It's the knives. So I had to stop myself a good bit. Um, I did leave this little bit of reveal. I thought it looked a lot nicer than just doing it. But anyway, I had to fight myself because I wanted to keep making it look nicer, but I was I had to fight it. All right, so I know this is a long video. If you stuck with me to the end, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and thanks for stopping by the wood shop. Remember, thumbs up. Take it easy.